Life after death. Signs of reincarnation from a past life. Do you believe in life after death? At some point in your life, you may see someone who you feel like you've definitely met before but can't pinpoint exactly when. Or maybe you have some supernatural fear or phobia that you can't explain. If you've ever experienced these strange and eerie feelings, you know that not finding the answer to why you're feeling that way can be a particularly frustrating experience. If you give a take on the theory of past lives, then it may give you answers to what's happening in your life and why you feel the way you do. Before we begin this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on all of our awesome life hacks, tips, and tricks from your number one bestie. Now keep watching for signs that you've been reincarnated. Number 8. Experiencing Deja Vu If you feel like you've met someone or been in a place before but don't have any recollection of it, it might be a sign that you've been reborn or reincarnated and have visited this place or met that person in a past life. Number 8. Experiencing Deja Vu Oh, wait. Sorry about that. Number 7. Being carried away by intense dreams If you have dreams that seem impossible or unlikely to even occur, it may be an indication that your soul has been reincarnated. Dreams are not only fantasies, sometimes they give you a lens into the fragments of a past life. Speaking of reincarnation and supernatural things, have you ever wondered if evil people get reincarnated? Some people believe that reincarnation is a way that we learn and grow from our mistakes, but what about evil people? Some people state that when an evil person is reincarnated, they are reincarnated to learn from their mistakes and grow from their mistakes. So when they enter a new life, they do good to make up for the bad things that they may have done in a previous life. So, if you are curious about evil people and want to learn about them, stick around until the end because we'll tell you about some signs that you may be dealing with an evil person. Number 6. Meeting your soulmate Soulmates enter our lives so that they teach us lessons that we need to learn during our lifetime. If a soulmate enters your life, be thankful, because it means you already have had a relationship with them in the past and are now on a quest for understanding together. Number 5. Having memories that never happened. Have you ever been convinced of a memory that you have of something happening or being somewhere? Have you asked to confirm and have been told that it never happened? The memory may have happened to you in a past life. Keep watching as we continue to count down the top signs that you may have been reincarnated from a previous life. Number four, having sudden visions. Regression therapy is a process that helps someone uncover reincarnation. It involves being put in a meditative state and through the process of discovering sudden visions that may be surprising to you. Have you ever experienced supernatural visions? Number three, feeling other people's emotions. If you are an empath, your soul is likely reincarnated or reborn. Your consciousness may be experiencing a rebirth. As supernatural as it sounds, being able to feel other people's emotions can mean you have a spiritual consciousness that may have been reborn. Reincarnated souls have extra sensitivity to feel and absorb the atmosphere and feelings of those around them. If they feel the negative or positive energy of the other person, they may use the law of attraction to strengthen this energy and make a positive change. Number two, you often have the feeling that you don't belong where you are. A reborn or reincarnated soul feels out of place on the earth and searches desperately for a home they can belong to but can't find it. The feelings of alienation are ones that most reincarnated souls feel. Number one, you have a strong desire to visit faraway places. You may have memories of living in a certain country or city in the past life. Or maybe you don't have any reasonable explanation for why the urge is so strong. 
It's usually because you lived in that place in a past life and have positive associations with it. Now that you know the top clues that you may have been reborn or reincarnated from another life, here are some ways to tell that you may be dealing with someone who has an evil heart. People tend to be good or bad. There are some very kind-hearted individuals out there, but on the opposite side of the spectrum, there can be some downright malicious and evil people. And there's no specific place of origin for these evil people. It's not like everyone born here or at this time or in this vicinity are considered good or bad. There can be good and bad people anywhere and everywhere. If you surround yourself with evil people, the law of attraction states that you will only continue to experience negativity in your life. That is why it's best to watch out for signs of evil people and remove them from your life. So in order to prevent yourself from being hurt mentally and physically, here are some giveaways that you can read on some evil people. Distortion of facts. Information is key to knowledge and these people tend to skew the things you say to them to either make themselves look better or make you look worse. They take the information that they glean from you to either make things appear different or make others doubt and lose trust in you. Misleading info. Akin to the first point, these individuals will take information that they've garnered to mislead you into thinking that they are right. They will take information from other sources to distort your concept of reality. Persistent lying. They are able to fabricate lies so well that they not only get you to believe them, but they also believe it themselves. Not responsible. These types of people can never own up to their mistakes. They never apologize for their actions or deem anything that they do as inappropriate. Lack of empathy. These people do not feel guilty for the things that they've done, nor do they have the capacity to put themselves in another person's shoes. As long as they can benefit, they really don't care who it hurts. They withhold information. These people intentionally try to withhold information in order to distort the truth and the facts. They will hold the facts that make them look bad and magnify the parts that amplify their good behavior. They don't accept reality. Evil people only see things from their perspective. They can't accept reality and how things actually are. If something doesn't fit their perception or their worldview, then they will simply distort their version of reality. From birth, we are taught certain things about how we came to be. Many religions believe in the idea of reincarnation, like Hinduism and Buddhism. Depending on your religion and own spiritual belief system, you may or may not believe in reincarnation, rebirth, or other beliefs. Many religions and spiritual belief systems also believe in the law of attraction, which is a spiritual belief that the thoughts we focus on, negative or positive, bring back the same experiences into your life. Essentially, the law of attraction states that if you think positive thoughts, you will have positive experiences, while if you think negative thoughts, you will experience negative experiences. Someone who is reborn may use their consciousness, whether aware of it or not to attract positive energy so that they can bring about positive change in lives of people around them. Do you believe in reincarnation, life after death, or anything supernatural? Have you ever dealt with an evil person before? Let us know why or why not in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.